Venom. The Last Dance isn't just a movie, it's a technological spectacle. Released in October 2024, this film isn't just a fun watch. It's a showcase of cutting-edge technology that made every symbiote transformation, battle, and effect feel unbelievably real. But how did they pull it off? What advancements in CGI, AI, and motion capture brought Venom to life like never before? Welcome to Galortex. Let's dive deep into the mind-blowing tech that made Venom The Last Dance an unforgettable cinematic experience. The Last Dance brought back Tom Hardy in his dual role as Eddie Brock in Venom, once again delivering a performance that blended action, humor, and raw intensity. Joining him were Juno Temple and Chiwetel Ejiofor, adding fresh dynamics to the film. The film was directed by Kelly Marcel, who also wrote the screenplay, and retained its signature dark, chaotic style while pushing storytelling boundaries. With a reported budget of $110 million, the film made a massive splash at the box office, grossing about $480 million worldwide, proving that audiences still love the lethal protector. The critics have overall praised the visual effects, action sequences, and Hardy's performance, while fans loved the deeper dive into Venom's mythology. Though it didn't sweep major awards, the film was recognized for Best Visual Effects nominations and cemented itself as one of Sony's biggest successes in 2024. Bringing Venom The Last Dance to Life wasn't just about acting. It was about blending cutting-edge motion capture with mind-blowing visual effects. At the heart of it all was Tom Hardy. But how do you turn a regular human into a towering, shape-shifting alien? That's where motion capture worked its magic. The dance scene between Venom and Mrs. Chen is a perfect example of how cutting-edge technology and creative filmmaking come together to create something truly special. Hardy wore a high-tech motion capture suit covered in sensors, which tracked his movements in real time. This allowed animators to map his performance onto a fully CGI Venom, making sure the symbiote moved naturally and felt like a real, living creature. The technology has come a long way since the early days of CGI. Now, even the smallest facial expressions can be captured and translated into digital characters. The scene began with choreography designed to highlight Venom's larger-than-life personality, while keeping it fun and light-hearted. Tom Hardy wore a Vicon motion capture suit, equipped with sensors that tracked his every move with incredible precision. The Vicon system captured the subtleties of Hardy's performance, from his exaggerated dance moves to the tiny shifts in weight and balance, ensuring Venom's movements felt both alien and oddly human. To create the environment and ensure accurate spatial relationships between Venom and Mrs. Chen, the filmmakers used LiDAR scanning. LiDAR, light detection and ranging technology, was used to map the physical set in incredible detail, creating a 3D digital replica. This allowed the VFX team to place the fully animated Venom into the scene with perfect alignment, ensuring he interacted seamlessly with Mrs. Chen and the surroundings. The Unreal Engine played a crucial role in real-time visualization. During filming, the team used Unreal Engine to render a rough version of Venom in the scene, allowing the director and actors to see a preview of how the final shot would look. This real-time feedback helped everyone on set adjust their performances and camera angles to match the digital character's movements. A body double for Mrs. Chen, played by Peggy Liu, interacted with a stand-in or a placeholder for Venom during filming. The LiDAR-scanned environment and real-time Unreal Engine rendering helped her time her reactions perfectly. Later, the VFX team replaced the stand-in with the fully animated seven-foot-tall Venom using the motion capture data from Hardy and the LiDAR-scanned environment to ensure everything aligned flawlessly. Finally, the animation team used software like Maya and Houdini to refine Venom's movements, adding fluidity and weight to his dance. Now let's talk about how they brought Venom's crazy, slimy, shape-shifting body to life. This stuff is mind-blowing. So to make Venom's tendrils move like they're alive, all fluid and gooey, the VFX team used the Houdini software. It's like the ultimate tool for simulating organic stuff. They programmed the tendrils to act like real, stretchy, slimy things. So when they whip around or grab something, 
it feels totally believable. And it's not just about movement. They had to make sure the tendrils looked wet and glossy like they were dripping with alien goo. They used something called subsurface scattering, which basically makes light pass through the surface like it would on real slime. Super cool, right? But it doesn't stop there. Venom's teeth, gums, and muscles had to look real too. Artists use tools like ZBrush and Substance Painter to sculpt and paint every little detail, like the texture of his teeth or the way his muscles ripple when he moves. Then they used rendering engines like Arnold or Renderman to light everything perfectly, so it all looked like it belonged in the real world. Oh, and let's not forget the muscle simulations. They used systems like Maya's end cloth to make sure Venom's muscles flexed and moved naturally with every action. It's this crazy mix of tech and artistry that makes Venom feel like he's actually there, ready to leap off the screen. Moving on, the cutting-edge camera technology and innovative cinematography techniques that the filmmakers employed to make this film happen on screen are also commendable. Under the direction of Kelly Marcel, with Fabian Wagner as the director of photography, the production utilized advanced tools and methods to achieve a seamless blend of practical effects and computer-generated imagery, CGI. The film was shot using ARRI, Alexa LF, and Mini LF cameras, known for their large format sensors that deliver exceptional image quality and dynamic range. These cameras were paired with Zeiss Supreme Prime lenses, renowned for their sharpness and versatility, allowing the cinematography team to capture both expansive action sequences and intimate character moments with equal proficiency. To ensure seamless integration of live action footage with CGI, the production utilized high-resolution digital cinematography. This approach was crucial for blending practical effects with CGI elements maintaining a consistent visual aesthetic throughout the film. The use of large format sensors in the ARRI Alexa LF and Mini LF cameras provided a cinematic depth of field and enhanced low light performance, which were essential for the film's darker, moodier scenes. There was also some use of high-speed cameras to capture reference footage for CGI enhanced battle scenes. There is also some use of artificial intelligence here, along with machine learning. How? Well, both of these things help to enhance the film's VFX. Digital Domain, a leading VFX studio, utilized AI-driven tools to automate complex processes such as character animation and compositing, streamlining workflows, and reducing production time. This technology enabled the creation of intricate sequences, including the depiction of Clintar and the antagonist Null, within tight deadlines. The film also introduced the innovative Venomize My Pet campaign, which employed AI to transform user-submitted pet images by integrating Venom's visual traits. Training the AI to accurately apply these characteristics across diverse animal images presented challenges, but iterative testing ensured personalized and unique results for each transformation. Being a solid, action-packed movie, the filmmakers crafted some of the most intricate action sequences and CGI battles in the franchise, pushing the boundaries of visual storytelling. A notable scene involves Eddie Brock and Venom clinging to the side of an airplane bound for New York City, only to be attacked mid-flight by a xenophage. This confrontation forces them to plummet into the Nevada desert, blending live-action stunts with seamless CGI to heighten the tension and realism. To create this high-octane moment, the filmmakers began with pre-visualization, using 3D animation software to map out the sequence's action, camera angles, and timing. This step was essential for planning how to seamlessly integrate live-action footage with digital effects. For the live-action portion, Tom Hardy was filmed on a partial airplane set mounted on a gimbal rig. This rig could tilt and shake to simulate the turbulence of a plane in flight, adding realism to Hardy's performance. He wore a harness for safety and was surrounded by green screens, which allowed the VFX team to replace the background with a fully CGI environment later. The exterior of the airplane, the sky, and Venom's tendrils gripping the plane were all created digitally. Venom's body was entirely CGI, animated to interact seamlessly with Eddie and the plane. 
Software like Houdini and Maya was used to simulate the fluidity of Venom's movements, as well as environmental effects like wind and debris. Lighting played a critical role in making the scene believable. The lighting on Eddie and the practical set was carefully matched to the CGI environment to ensure everything looked cohesive. Compositing software like Nuke was then used to blend all the elements together, adding final touches like clouds, city lights, and atmospheric effects. So tell me, did you catch the movie in cinema? What was your favorite part? Write it down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting Galore Text videos. Thanks for watching.